Hey guys, it's Jason along with Portland Homes KC, and we are here to talk about non real estate. Talk about Halloween and all the fun things you can do around Halloween. So I've got today all three kids who are at home, in homeschool, or just off the base. I figured we'll throw them in. We got Leah, Levi, and then Landon. I don't know. We haven't seen him. He's he's right here somewhere. You guys want to say hi? You guys want to say hi? Hi. First off, let's talk to uh, to Miss Leah about. You're going to go after Leah. Ladies first. What are you going to talk about? You want to talk about trigger treatment? Yeah. So, is that you like trigger treatment? What's your favorite part about it? Breaking up? Are you going to talk to them about some of the things you can do with your trigger treatment? You're probably going to be told if you want to. Wrong. I would say with a parent, maybe take a flashlight. Okay? So this is a good tip. It's going to be close to where you're at. All right. Um, we can go up or just here. Good. Mr. Levi. Okay, your turn. What are we going to talk about? All right. So have we been to one yet? Nope. We might go tomorrow, right? Yeah. What's your favorite thing about the pumpkin patches? Uh, then going to get the flashlights. Getting the flashlights. And hay rides. Go on yeah. hay rides? Yeah. yeah. Some good pumpkin patches are Weston Red Barn Farm. Mm-hmm. You got the one in Liberty, Carolyn's cousin's. Pumpkin patch. There's some out on the Kansas side. There's a lot of good ones out there. There's one in Kearney that has the uh, had the corn pool that we went in a couple years ago. I don't think you're with us. I don't think you're born yet. So some good pumpkin patches out there. And the last thing we need to talk about is the fun stuff for kids and adults is the haunted houses. Hey, I'm Daddy. Daddy. Uh, uh, oh no. Oh no. Oh, it's Landon with the alien. Landon, don't you like haunted houses? Yeah. You want to talk about the haunted houses? Um, haunted houses are fun and scary, but you have to make sure to not wander off without an adult or one of your friends when you go. Yeah, that oh, would not I, be good. I would recommend the Halloween Haunt ones at Wally Pond, but they're closed. They are closed. So not I, doing it this year. So there's not very many good ones around. Maybe you could try and create one at your house. So this we always have the West Bottoms has the Beast, the Edge of Hell, um, the Cinema down there. Those are all some good ones. I've been to the Edge of Hell. It's very fun. That is very fun. So this year, I think a few different protocols are making you gap out, space out a little bit more, wear sanitizer, wear a mask, not just a Halloween mask. Um, they have added some outdoor ones. Uh, this year too, just to keep the open air and not in a in a building. So fun open houses, and there's a, some other um, pop up Halloween theme bars like speakeasies that have come around that are good adult choices to look at for possibly a Halloween themed date night. So all good stuff. What do we want to say to everybody as we're closing out? Um, Right there, right there. Um, Thank you, and be safe with Halloween and have fun.